Howdy, folks. How's it going? I am very happy to be here today. I am very tired. Ugh. Ugh. Excuse me. I just got showered up. I had my workout. I actually made my wife and I dinner tonight. We made shakshuka. Um, a friend of ours made it for us recently, and we thought it was so good that we decided to give it a try. It was quite good. I'm excited to have it in my lunch tomorrow. Okay. So today, we got a big thing here. We're standing here in front of the Battle Palace because we are here for blood. We are here for sweet, sweet vengeance. Um, I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to trip over one of the trainers beforehand, but uh, we're coming for the old man. We're coming for the old man today. But, I want to save that for now. I want us to go one time through the Battle Pyramid, uh, first and foremost. Because, you know, we're coming up here. This looks a lot like the Desert Ruins. Like, look at this bad boy. This thing is gorgeous. Um, and uh, so we're going to pop in here. Got some sick music. That's some adventure in music right there. Okay, so one thing about the Battle Pyramid is that you cannot have items on your Pokemon. So as you can see, I am taking the items off of mine because when you go into the Battle Pyramid, you can only use the items you find. It's very much kind of like a dungeon crawl scenario. Um, you have to get up seven levels of this period, uh, pyramid, and you are in the dark. Um, and the more you can, like, defeat trainers, you can open up a little bit of your darkness and whatnot. But, uh, you have to find a special tile in this dark floor of the pyramid, and that will let you go to the next level until you eventually make it to the top. As you can see, that blue thing is our special tile that we're looking for. And we get our battle bag. So then we're transported to a higher floor. Let's have a look-see. Here we are. We're in the dark. We have to uh, stumble our way through to make it to the top. Okay. Um, hello, Dogleg. It's been a bit... Of, it, it has been a bit. Thank you so much for keeping up on YouTube. I really appreciate that. That's really nice of you. Um, because obviously, like, uh, going live is like its own thing. Um, I'm obviously not live for that long either. I, I usually just keep it about an hour or so and, um, you know, I can be kind of easy to miss. So I appreciate you watching on YouTube. Um, so as you can see here, we have our squad and we have our bag. Um, they give us a hyper potion and an ether to begin. Um, and we just have to treat these items very, um, preciously. Um, oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so again, we have these walls here that we're bumping into. There are wild Pokemon, which can be a big deal. Uh, and as you can see, we got a, we have a mine in here. Um, it's definitely just gonna try to paralyze us with Thunder Wave. And sometimes, listen, in real life, you'd be able to escape from this. But not here. And here's Thunderbolt, so maybe I should just swap out. Okay, I went for it. Um, okay, so we are, again, we're looking for that bright blue tile. Um, hello, Loctess, how's it going? Oh, a Lumberry, that will heal any status, that's wonderful. Um, there we go, okay, there's our Paralysis Cure, so that's really nice. I'm actually gonna swap to- Oh, thank you, Dogleg! Oh, thank you for subscribing! Oh, that's so great! And hello, Cry! It is Geezer Demolishing Day. It is Geezer Demolishing Day. Uh, ooh, here's our blue tile. Wonderful. Um, the only thing is, when you find an item- or sorry, when you find the blue tile, um, and you decide to step on it, if you haven't found all the items on that floor, you kind of, like, forfeit those items, and they can be very important. So we'll see. Uh, I, I feel good about the items we picked up on that last one. Um, 
Ah, dude. Ah, oh, here's a battle. <laughs> um, so there are trainers here. I'm pretty sure when you defeat one, you'll get a bit more light. Um, I really only understand it in this game. There are battle frontiers in other games, and I just never have tried them. Um, let's just go for an EQ here. Um, yes, the Gen 3 one is the one that I love. I'm very nostalgic for. Um, it does... I don't do it very often. Yes, as you can see, we get a little more light. Um, I don't do it very often because... I'm actually going to go ahead and heal Starmie with our Hyper Potion here. Because I hate being that weak. Um, since we found a second one, I thought we'd use it. Um... I don't do it very often because it's just like, if you really want to win, there aren't that many Pokemon you can realistically use. Um, you kind of have to use like the Salamences of the world, the Metagrosses of the world if you want to, if you want to do it. Um, you don't really get anything for completing it. Really, the only thing you get... Uh, I'll show you when we're out of here. You get special symbols. All right, here's our tile. Uh, you get special symbols for um, defeating each facility, which is great. You can get the silver symbol and the gold symbol. Um, we are only going for the silver symbol um, because the gold symbol is like really freaking hard to get, man. It's, like, punishingly hard. Um, and, uh, let's see. So there are a lot of trainers we've skipped. Oh, we can run. I didn't even realize that. Um, and for doing all these battle facilities, you get, um, something called BP. Um, so what I've realized I can do here with all of these Electric-type Pokemon that are trying to paralyze us, what I'll do is I'll just use an Earthquake to defeat this Electric Pokemon, like, instantly. And not only do I not get paralyzed, I get a little more light. So that can actually work in our favor. That's why I decided to put Salamence up front here. Um, but yes, I was saying, for defeating each battle facility, you get um, these points called Battle Points, or BP. And you can trade them in for items. You can trade them in for, like, cool Poke Dolls for your secret base. Um, excuse me. You can trade them in to teach your Pokemon better moves that you didn't have um, access to previously, like, like the Elemental Punches or, like, Rock Slide. Um, now, I want to make sure I don't use all my Earthquakes because I want to make sure I have some left over. Um, but we're doing all right right now. Now, things can change here in the Battle Pyramid. Things can get a little, a little hairy, a little scary. A little hairy and scary. I can probably just knock this out with a flamethrower, honestly. It's 20 levels below me. Okay, perfect. Um, it's kind of like the Battle Pike, where it's like, oh, I'm doing good. Oh, no, my whole team is burned. <laughs> you know? It can just get way worse. As you can see, we have an Electabuzz here. That'll be an Earthquake. But yeah, the Battle Frontier essentially is just like a cool post-game area where you can test your battle skills to their highest ability, you know. Um, because, you know, once you get into it, the battles are very difficult. Very difficult. Yes, the Surviper one, the Battle Pike. That one's definitely the easiest. Um, mostly because it is... It, you only have to go through twice to get to the Frontier Brain, at least for the Silver Symbol. Okay, great. I was hoping that would knock it out. Perfect. Alright, as you can see, we kind of we lose all that light we gained. Um, which is okay. And on your first time through the pyramid, you know, a lot of these trainers aren't very good. Like Curlia, pretty weak. It's the only one it has. Oh, that's funny. It has a white herb. Hooray. Yeah. <laughs> and, 
it literally, when you go through it, you literally win the luck symbol, which is nice. Oh, this is perfect. I can just catch this with an aerial ace. And that is an easy kill. Oh. Spoke too soon. Um, all right. I don't want to use that Lumberry. We'll see what we can do in this battle. And then weird stuff like that can happen, and you're just like, what, what are we doing here, guys? I'm just going to try to wake up. I knew it would have an ice move. Gosh, dang it. All right, I got to swap. Womp, womp, indeed. I know. That was tough. That one was tough. Um, Freaking icy wind on the totodile. And now, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, I saw Icy Wind and then I thought Ice Beam. I was definitely trying to do uh, Thunderbolt. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that was a misclick, you could say. Um, let's do that. Um, so as you can see, we're on level four. Ah, oh, Manetric. Can I just run? Oh, my lord. I caught a couple cherry berries. Let's do that. Oh yeah, we have four cherry berries. That'll heal our paralysis nicely. That's okay. A fluffy tail, this is something we haven't really seen. This is something that we use to flee from any battle with a wild Pokemon. Obviously very useful in this spot. Um, all right. And uh, the pyramid can be very frustrating. Let's see, vile plume. I'm actually pretty okay here. Um, Mostly because a vile plume can't really do anything to my um, what you call it, my uh, salamence, especially while I'm already statused. So that was kind of an easy way to get rid of my sleep. Um, oh, oh, I thought it was the the tile down, so that's annoying. All right, we're fine. We're fine here. Oh my gosh, okay. And in case you are wondering, we need to get through the Battle Pyramid three times. Um, ooh, a Shell Bell, excellent. Let's give that to somebody. We'll give that to Salamence. Um, so we need to get through the battle pyramid three times, and on the third, at the end of the third time, we will get to the frontier brain. Um, but how things have been going? Um, they've been going good. Thank you. Um, I started back. I don't know how long it's been, um, but I started back at my job um, at the school, and it's been going all right, you know, things are, things are a mixed bag, kids, kids, uh, especially middle school kids can be, oh, I did not mean to run into her, um, excuse me, middle school kids can be pretty temperamental, um, I am just gonna use Earthquake, fake out, classic Smeargle move, and extreme speed, whoa, but this should knock it out. Smeargles have horrific stats, which makes me sad because I love Smeargles so much. Um, but things have been going well. I've been happy to um, continue the Emerald playthrough. I I mean, we're getting pretty close to the end here. We're getting pretty close to the end of the Yu-Gi-Oh! playthrough as well. Um, so there's definitely going to be a few changes here on the channel. Um, but I'm excited about it. Um... Yeah, and honestly, I'm not even a middle school teacher. I am a middle school paraprofessional. Um, and I specifically work with kids that have some tough behaviors. So things can get weird. Things can certainly get weird. <laughs> um, all right, this is annoying me. Uh, yeah, a paraprofessional is basically just like an aide. Um, and I help kids that 
need help with school or with focusing um, or other things of that nature. And that's my whole job. There's my tile. Thank you. All right, so we're on floor five. As you can see, this can take a while. Um, it can be the most annoying one, honestly. But we're getting pretty close. Only a couple more floors. Um, there we go. You know what? That is exactly right. It is tough and it is fulfilling. Um, today was actually a pretty good day. I was really hoping that would kill the vile plume. Okay, that's fine. Um, today was a good day, honestly, I will say, overall. But, you know, you have your not so good days. And that is okay. My wife is also a um, special ed teacher, so that's kind of how I got into it. Um, so we're just rumbling, bumbling, stumbling through the through the dark here. Um, there we go, floor six. All right, I don't remember if there are seven floors or you need to clear. I think you need to clear seven floors. That would make sense. Um, oh boy. Oh, you have to drive nine hours. What do you do? All right. Venonat, easy peasy. We can just aerial ace that to death, I believe. Yes. Also, forgive me if you've told me before. Um, ah, you work for NASCAR. That's cool. So you have to do marketings for a race team. How about that? Um, okay, we still have some earthquakes. Um, how do you like that? Are you a big NASCAR fan? Is that kind of the, the, the reason for that? Okay, we have a million cherry berries, so I'm just gonna try to run away from these Minetrix. Um, classic. Oh, thunder, my goodness. Holy crap. Oh, no. All right, so that went terribly. Um, we will heal that. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, and not being able to see anything just kills you, man. Just kills you. Um, huge fan. Uh, I see. I see. That's definitely, definitely something that's common, I bet. And just pretty much for anyone who works in, you know, kind of where they, something they're a huge fan of, I should say. Um, all right, here, we're actually going to use this ether that they give us at the beginning. We're going to use that on our earthquake. Just because we've used a ton of those. And we only have like a floor and a half left to clear here, so we should be good. And there's our tile. Um, that's life, baby. You are so right. All right, so this is our last floor. Um, you know, that just kind of makes me think. I know I have a lot of kids that want to be like YouTubers at school. Um, and I wouldn't call myself a YouTuber per se, you know. I, I do these streams for fun and... I put them on YouTube. I, I, I'm not like a, you know, a, a careerist. But uh, a lot of those kids just don't get that, you know, being on YouTube is, a, like, it's not super easy. Like, you actually have to make videos all the time and work on videos, like, every single day. Um, there we go. The first Metagross signing. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Um, what did you do? Did you do Pokemon stuff? Um, Breloom. All right, we're gonna, there we go, lovely. All right, so we only have one more floor to find, or one more, hello. Um, ah, oh, you did NASCAR content. Hey, that makes sense. Was that something that they looked at? Did that matter to them when you applied? Ugh. There we go. 
That's how they found you. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. We'll go ahead and heal Salamence here. We're getting to the end of our run here in the pyramid, so I feel pretty good not hoarding our items. Even though something like this, I would totally not put it past myself to just hoard items the whole time. Oh my goodness, Jolteon outspeeds with the outspeed. Yeah, we'll just take this one down. Give ourselves a little more light. You cannot. Um, you cannot catch the Pokemon here. I wish. That'd be so cool to catch a Jolteon. Come on. That'd be awesome. Um, but, uh, yeah, you, you can only use the items they give you. Um, I fought you. I did not. I really thought I did. I really, really thought I did. Was that a different floor? Um, all right, Pinsir. So the... Ooh, Hypercutter. How about that? Um, so the Pokemon are getting a little bit better up here on level 7. All right. Oh, a revive. That's lovely. Um, okay, we definitely have some fluffy tails. I can probably use some of those. Especially against these Jolteons there. Pretty quick. So as you can see here, we use the fluffy tail. And it just instantly lets us get away. Which is pretty gorge. Ah, there it is. Okay. So, once I step on this tile, we will reach the pyramid's peak. And it's actually really cool. Look at this. It is a delight to see you here. You've reached the summit of the Battle Pyramid. Above here is the Pyramid's lookout point. It is a place open only to those who have conquered the Pyramid. Now please, up you go. <sighs> the Pyramid's new conqueror! Let the name SCG be known! Oh, so cool. You get that awesome, very Japanese red sun. Uh, very cool. Love that. Ah, uh, yes. So they're going to take back our items. All right. Oh! Maybe you keep what you had in the battle bag. I forgot about that. So maybe I shouldn't have used some of those items. Maybe I should have saved them. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess we'll find out next time because we have taken too much time on the battle pyramid. We are now on to the main event here, gang. Because you signed on to watch me murder an old man. And murder an old man, I shall. Um, okay. So we're gonna save, because I have anxiety. Um, so I have one time through the pyramid. Perfect. Okay. So if you recall, we lost in heartbreaking, heartbreaking fashion, to the Palace Maven Spencer last time we were here. We were here. And I need to put items back on my Pokemon. That would have devastated me. Uh, yes, you get Shell Bell. You get Loops. You get Leftovers. And you get King's Rock. It's actually been a very devastating <laughs> time on the channel a little bit. Just because... Um, <laughs> In the Yu-Gi-Oh! stream on Monday, we had a brutal defeat. Um, and I'm actually excited to get back to Yu-Gi-Oh! in a week or two. Um, so we can hopefully defeat that. Um, because I have a good way to mitigate that from happening. Or to stop that from happening again. Alright, so we know from our previous battle that the Palace Maven, that old dirty dog he is gonna start with a crowbat and starmie getting all the way down into the red without even hitting it was devastating and it was actually stevie being able to kind of wall it defensively that helped us defeat it so we are going to open with stevie the metagross mm. excuse me and now I gotta make sure I'm not getting too cocky. 
Um, because we need to defeat the first six trainers here um, before we can even have a shot to destroy the old man. And already we are in a tough position. Um, as you can see, Wobbuffet is going to make it so that we can't shift the Shadow Tag ability right there. Um, and we just have to hope if we hit a Shadow Ball like this, it doesn't use counter or we kill it in one hit. So we did not kill it in one hit. Okay, use Destiny Bond. Um, Wobbuffet can just be really tough because it can just really cheese you. Um, like here again, if we get hit with a counter, it will either kill us or nearly kill us. And it holds on with that focus uh, band. Okay, there's Destiny Bond again. So what happens with Destiny Bond is if you knock it out on that turn, it will take you with it. Um, so here, it's looking like we're probably going to get taken down with Destiny Bond. And, yep, it says Wobbuffet took Stevie with it, and our whole HP bar goes down. Goodbye, Metagross. So that's tough. You hate to see that. At least we were able to defeat it. It didn't, like, kill us with a counter or something. Um, ugh. Annoying. That's a tough switch. I really wish I knew there was going to be a mine in, or else I would have... Uh, swapped in arrow. Oh my gosh, guys. Getting some tough luck here. <laughs> guys, this is not good. Okay, this is terrible, actually. Terrible. We need an earthquake here. Alright, I think we can live one more Thunderbolt now. And it just keeps using it! Gosh. We're gonna lose. 100%. 100%. Unless we, like, outspeed with a critical hit surf or something. Incapable of using power. Yeah. So that's fun. That's fun. That's really fun. That's delightful. I had a good time with that. I had a good time with that. That makes me so mad. That makes me horrifically angry. <sighs> no, I would not. I cannot believe that. Cannot believe that. <sighs> so what I'm going to do now, I have to start this whole thing over. We have to go through two more times. And then on the third one, we'll be able to defeat the old man. So it's really not looking like we're going to get to the old man tonight. But I am going to employ a similar strategy um, that I'm going to employ for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, one. Oh, great move selection there, Stevie. Okay, that's fine. Are my lights flickering? There we go. Um, so the strategy that I'm going to use with the Yu-Gi-Oh! one, I'm actually going to use save states. Um, just because it can be so punishing to get back to the point where we were. Um, enable to deliver a content experience to you that is fun. Um... I'll probably go ahead and do that. Um, but what what I'll do is that I'll use a save state at like, I don't know, like the beginning of the third try. So that way I'm not just like completely cheesing it. I have to like get through that third try um, to be able to get to the old man. There we go. Good first move. So as you can see, we're back to square one here. We are fighting the weak Pokemon. We have Abras, we have Totodiles. Nothing crazy here. Um, Starmie has been pretty brutal, not being able to use its powers. 
Because that's the reason we lost to Spencer in the first place. I will take follow me all day long. All right. And that'll kill Starmie. Oh, I should have brought in good old Salamence because he could use Shadow Ball, but that's fine. Um, so the Battle Palace Redemption was no more. Um, and that was just uh, th that was just the second opponent. Um, I'm guessing we can get to the spot where we were when we started this episode. We can probably go through twice tonight, and then next episode we'll 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 get the old man. Hopefully, finally, maybe one day. Um, there we go. Lovely. Um, the old man probably did rig it. I, and we just, we get two straight paralysis hits. We get attract. We get, we get taken out by the Wobbuffet. It was all bad. It was all terrible. Hello, Cry, by the way. And it's just, it's just bad luck. That's what kills me about the Battle Palace, man. It kills me. I hate it. Um, all right, here I like Harry. Man, what I would not do for a grass move on this squad. That would be really great. Because that that's what made the Battle Dome so scary. We didn't have anything for that Swampert. Oh my gosh, with a mirror coat, Corsola. All right, now I'm, now I'm just getting hateful. I'm just getting mad. All right, get that other meteor mash in here. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's the meteor mash. There we go. That'll knock it out. Perfect. Um... And Beldum. Just our little baby Stevie. Another Shadow Ball would be great. Brick Break works too. Buddy. Ruin Maniac Sammy. I cry for my party. Well, I am happy that we were able to get one level of the pyramid cleared tonight. I am just... Because that was the first match. That was the first match of the last time through. And it was just all terrible. I should have thought. I should have thought to use a save state beforehand. Um, Because if you don't know what a save state is, what I'm talking about, I've never actually used them before because my old emulator, I didn't know how. Um, and I might, I might use that emulator again for a different game. We'll see. Um, but what it does is the game um, can save your game like normal. Um, oh, my goodness. Uh, the game can save your, name, uh, save your game like normal. But what the save state does is the emulator saves where you are in your game. So, excuse me, no matter what, you can always blip back to, like, any point ever. So, like, a lot of people will use it to, like, um, if they're trying to catch a Pokemon, they'll just do a save state right before they throw the Pokeball. So that way they don't, like, waste all their Pokeballs or, like, have to waste turns or whatever. Um... So that's that's a reason why you would use save states, but I might use it here just so that you guys can see us win the symbol and we can win the symbol together, you know? The next time I get to the third time through, we'll do that. Ooh, a meteor mass meteor mash miss. I feel like we haven't seen that um much so far, honestly. 
Uh, Meteor Mash, I think, is either a 90 or 95 accuracy move, maybe even 85. Um, but I feel like we've gotten pretty lucky with its accuracy, and Stevie just really, really, I mean really, doesn't want to attack. There's a Shadow Ball. Never mind, a Brick Break would easily knock it out in one hit, so would that. Um, Azurail, common misconception, is a normal-type Pokémon, so that me uh, Brick Break will knock it out easily. It is not Water-type at all. I don't really know why they did that. Because um, Azurail is a Gen 3 Pokémon. It's a baby Pokémon of Meryl. And it's obviously really bad. And, again, I don't know why they didn't just make it Water-type. They made it pure normal. It's very interesting. I actually don't know what type it is now. It might still be pure normal, um, or maybe pure fairy, because the Meryl line has the fairy type with it now. All right, last battle of this time through. Last battle this time through. Um. We're going to stay in here better defensively, and we can still hit it hard with a Brick Break if we hit it. And that was a critical hit confusion uh, Water Pulse, so that was as bad as it could have gone. Doesn't affect Sharpie. There we go. Rough Skin will hurt us. That's okay. I will take that. Ooh, Huntail! Um, so interesting. Huntail is a Pokémon you do not see very often at all in this game. Um, if you, you can evolve your Clam Pearl with the Deep Sea Tooth, and that will give you a Huntail, which we see here. I think we described that during the episode where we got the scanner and went to the abandoned ship, but now you can actually see that Pokémon, which is pretty neat. Um... <laughs> it is times like these though where the speed up button is just truly wonderful there we go um because having to like super grind through this dude cry you are so right it's like i am i'm having a hard time getting a silver symbol on this and, like, all things considered, my team is really good. Um, I, it's, it's crazy. Oh, great here if he's trying to use counter. Harry Jr. is a pretty good counter to that, but we gotta hit it. Great. Alright, guys, I'm looking at the time. That's one time through. If we really hustle... There's a chance. There's a baby little chance that we could get the old man tonight. I might really have to use speed up. But let's see. What do you guys think? We might be able to sell out to kill the old man tonight. I, for one, would love it. But, you know, I don't want to... Excuse me. I don't want to waste your time. And yeah, I usually, I usually kind of keep to a semi-strict one hour. Let us pray in Arceus' name. I love it. We'll see what happens. Um, I... Really try to keep it to one hour just because I have to get up really early in the morning. So uh, I try to have time to do all my other crap <laughs> that I have to do before the next day. And um, a brick break would be great. Meteor Mash should work. All right, close. Guys, I was so angered by that loss couldn't believe it but i will say um 
I was saying how I had a brutal loss in Yu-Gi-Oh last night. Um, it was so terrible. No, not la- not last night. Uh, whenever we streamed Monday. There we go. Onyx goes down. Easy peasy. Okay. Kindler Marlin. Um, okay, so this is their second opponent. Um, I think that that run through the first round took us about 10 or 12 minutes. Um, if that holds up, we could maybe defeat Spencer right around the hour mark. Let's, uh, again, let's, let's, let's pray in Arceus' name. That's a, that's a good idea. Um, that clear body ability has been clutch for Stevie. And we're actually using the right moves now, which I adore. I spoke too soon. I knew it was going to be Shadow Ball the moment I said that. And now we're getting a lot of Meteor Mash misses. That one connects, though. I always thought this Rattata sprite looked really weird. It doesn't really look like it. But, I mean, you know, it's fine. It's not in the base game, so maybe they rushed the sprite for the post game or something. Alrighty. Let's do this. Third opponent. Third opponent. I'm watching our clock. Um, overall, I would say the Battle Frontier experience has been absolutely wonderful. I have loved doing this. Um, uh, yes, Shelter is not a an ice type yet. I always forget that. Um, I just I it's it's been really really cool to do. Um, I literally just doing it from beginning to now where we were just um training our terrible little bag on and uh beldum and star you to where we are now it's super cool just to be able to go through the whole process um it would be cool to get the gold symbols but again i don't hate myself so um i'm not gonna put you through that either but like i was saying earlier we're gonna have a good amount of change in the programming of the channel coming up pretty soon. Um, oh, wow, a one-shot on the Psyduck there. Um, because Emerald will be no more before too long here. Um, and then Yu-Gi-Oh! Will, uh, will also stop after a while. And... Uh, we're going to have a different side game that I am, excuse me, really, really excited about that side game. Um, and if you know, oh, oh, sorry, Cry, I just saw your chat. Um, yes, Rattata is a weird one. Um, oh, I don't know if I know the Growlithe sprite in Emerald. I can think of it in Fire Red and Leaf Green. It looks good in that. Um... But yeah, I can't. I don't know if I can think of it in Emerald off the top of my head. Um, here, Brick Break would rock. There we go, baby. It might have Sturdy though, so it can maybe hold on with one HP. It does not. Lovely. Okay. 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 Uh, Vigor off. You know, I I have said this earlier. People. Someone in a comment gave me... Oh, freaking counter! Um, someone in a comment gave me crap for running... There we go. For running Brick Break on my Metagross. And it has just been extremely, extremely helpful. Okay, I gotta go into my physical attacker, attacker for a chancy. Oh, its eyes look a little off in Emerald. Bad taxidermy. Hold on, let me, let me look this up real quick. with emerald sprite oh yeah you're right the eyes do look weird you're totally right very interesting yeah i don't like that that's like uncanny um all right back to the task at hand earthquake perfect all right let's see what we got here oh teleport interesting watch it just teleport blizzard and kill me 
Um, I love Arrow just going for the earthquakes. Gorgeous. Oh, good thing that if it's going to use Minimize, we do have Aerial Ace on Arrow, so we should be able to hit it, but no need. No need. See you, Carlo. All right, this is our sixth opponent. Yeah, guys, we can we can do it tonight. We can do it tonight. We'll be able to make it. I feel confident. Um, we'll go into Harry for Ponyta. That is the definition of fine. There we go. I love when you're going through the Battle Palace and you just, you just, you use the right move, man. You just use the right move. Uh, I hate that. But I was anticipating some bites or something on our Starmie. Gosh, dang it, man. Also, I don't think it's used a... There we go, Absol's pretty frail. Oh, it's one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Uh, it must have had a Lax Incense or something. Here's where we need our Psychic Stevie. Hitmonlee also has a six bright in this game. All right. I don't know if that was our sixth or seventh battle. Joanna. Okay, we have one more here. And then we'll be able to get on to our last round. And, uh... You know, as they say, kill the old man. And, ah, oh, this is a little bittersweet because we have James here sitting in front of us. I love Chimeco. Love Chimeco. Please just... Oh. Alright, this is brutal. I wish the heel bell could heal our sleep. There we go. Not brick break. Not what we want. Just use Shadow Ball. That's fine. That works. <laughs> Having everybody be cooperative is just so hard. That did a lot of damage. We can hopefully live one more with the Shell Bell. Oh, brutal. Wow, that did more than I thought. That must have been a really high roll. Perfect. All right. Del Catty. Yeah, we don't have a perfect matchup here, but we should be theoretically fine. Okay, that's probably... Okay, great. That does kill. Wonderful. All right, guys. No. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to save because I have anxiety. And I'm actually going to use a save state. So let me do this here. Do a save state right there. So if you see, I'm going to demonstrate what this does. So if I start talking to him, as you can see, I have moved past where the save state was. But if I go to load state and click on it, it takes me back to before I started talking to him. Um, so this is going to let us start again at the, whatchamacallit, the, um, the third time through, if, should we need to. I hope we don't need to, but we'll see. <laughs> um, all right. All right, folks, we're back. We're back. It wasn't pretty. Took some speed up, but we're back, and we're hopefully going to get through this tonight. Um, and uh, as they say, kill the old man. All right. 
Come on now. Giraffe rig, I'll take that. I'll take that all day. Unless it does something terrible to me. Nice one shot, Stevie. Pidgeot, yeah, I'll stay in. Faint attack, that's fine. That's not going to do anything from a Pidgeot, really. Um, it could use something like Feather Dance, and if it does that, I'll just swap, but we're looking pretty good. Oh, ah, no, we have Clear Body. Lovely. So our first time, our first battle in our third time is going far better this time. Far better. Excuse me. Very burpy. Ugh. The Shell Bell and the Leftovers animations just kill me because they take so long. <laughs> there we go. And that'll finish that. Battle one. Battle two. Let's see. Um, this is great. Yeah, the Intimidate won't work. We do have Psychic here, and we can wall any poison attacks. But we do get caught with the Glare. Oh, Earthquake. What? Come on now. All right. I'll come in and try using Earthquake of my own. All right, come on. There we go. Thank you, Arrow. Arrow knew we caught that Intimidate. That's why we use our special flamethrower, all you people in the YouTube comments telling me that I was stupid. Ha ha! Look who's laughing now. All right. I don't know what Sharpedo's gonna run here. Double Edge is okay. We can, we can deal with him giving a lot of recoil damage to himself. Yeah, because if he uses it again like that, he is going to kill himself, even though he got a crit. He dies. And we win. Now, if we didn't have any Pokemon left when that happened, we would have lost, and that would have made me extraordinarily angry. Um, all right. So I'm fine here. I would have certainly preferred to use Psychic, um, but that should kill it. Ugh. Not being able to have our stats lowered as Stevie is just great. The only problem is that low kick is... Oh, I'll get rid of that. Um, that low kick is going to do a lot of damage on Stevie because Stevie's so heavy. Now that is a clutch brick break right there. Ooh, attack rose. Okay, interesting. I'll take follow me all day. Perfect. All right, fur it goes down. I believe this is our third battle, if I'm not mistaken. They're kind of running together. We're kind of, uh, we're kind of speed running the battle palace at this point. Um, all right, perfect. Uh, it has sturdy, so not quite perfect, but still really good. Lovely. That'll work. That'll work for us. Ah. Black Belt Ricardo. Alright, so that was our third opponent. This is our fourth. We have to beat four, five, and six. And then we'll get another shot at Spencer. I'm going to stick in here, try to get that Shadow Ball. We do lose our Shell Bell. That makes me sad. Oh my goodness. That was a tough start. Also would have loved to see a kill there. Good, my goodness. Very glad to see a Will-O-Wisp miss. That was just a little bit of good luck that we were able to employ there. 
Um, yeah, I think we're just going to stay in. Because um, if he's going to maybe try to keep confusing us, we can take advantage of that. Lovely Meteor Mash one-shot. Ah, and here is Gorbis. If you get the Deep Sea Scale, you can evolve your Clam Pearl into Gorbis. Um, I'm so glad we've been able to see both of those Pokemon now, because they are very rare Generation 3 Pokemon. Um, especially, I think they were trade evolutions as well, so you just didn't see them. They're not in a like a normal Generation 3 playthrough. And Clam Pearl you had to find on the bottom of the ocean. It was just one of those things where the Pokemon was so rare in the generation that they introduced it that people just didn't know about it or forgot about it. Um, we're going to go into Arrow here, actually, because we can get a Flamethrower or a an Earthquake. There we go. I feel like we've gotten that a lot. We have gotten a lot of, let's just let them hold on with one HP. Salamence is cooperating for us, though. Love to see that. We'll stay in. That one Chansey that we ran into must have had, like, an Eviolite or something. Or is that a... I don't even know if that's an item in this game. So I might be mistaken. Uh, but if this thing's just going to heal itself, that's going to make me sad and angry. And our boy Arrow is very set up. Okay, we're, we're plus two, so this Earthquake should kill it. It does not! My goodness. Chansey is just diesel. There we go. Let me see an Aerial Ace. Come on. There we go. Lovely. All right, guys, we have to win one more battle, and then we get a we get a, get a crack at the old man. <sighs> battle girl Joanna. I feel like we've seen her before. Um, all right, we got to get that brick break. Psychic, not quite. We don't get the speed drop because we are a Metagross and we are awesome. Also, guys, there we go. I just gotta say again, the Battle Palace is so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Because <laughs> you just can't. Ugh. You just can't control what happens. Um, and it's like, you know, you can try to have the best team possible. All right, Harry's not looking great here. I really don't like having Harry on a switch in, but surf to kill the Sand Slash rocks. Because um, Harry is not our, you know, tanky Pokemon. Harry is pretty frail. Um, so getting Harry on a switch can be pretty deadly and you can lose a lot of HP pretty quick. Um, all right, that's fine. There we go. Harry, you're killing us right now. I really hope that uh, you look better in the, in the fight with Spencer, which we have reached, which we have reached. We're right up against my, my hour mark here, but this will be a great finale, hopefully. Hopefully a great finale. And again, I'm not going to use a save state right here because I don't think that is in the spirit of what we're trying to do. I use the save state before the third time through. So that way we still have to go through that one time to, to get to Spencer. I think that's fair. So that saves us a lot of time to get back to him, but yes. And now, here he is again. I'm ready. Here he comes. 
You old bag. You bald. Mmm. Come on! Let's go! Alright, I'm hyped up. I'm jacked up right now. We're gonna take this guy down. We're gonna take this guy down. We're gonna get a, a psychic, uh, a critical psychic turn one. And we're gonna hit him. We're gonna hit him. We're gonna hit the crowbat. Critical psychic, turn one. Alright. It's not quite what we were looking for. Not quite what we were looking for. <sighs> Maybe I should have done it. Oh, okay. So we're gonna speed through this a little bit. Guys. All right, at least we hit. We hit something. suffer through another one of these now we just need to hit meteor mash shadow ball or psychic should knock out crowbat here all right we miss but that's okay that's okay all right it's gonna come here and we're gonna hit we're gonna hit dang it he has used two double teams so that's not great all right here we hit. Here we hit. So he's just going to kind of try to use fly. <laughs> oh. We've had our opportunities, guys. We've had our opportunities. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay. We started out much better. Uh, Metagross is a little worse for the wear, but that's okay. We were able to take out Crobat. Um, he's gonna pivot right to slacking. My guess is that this thing knows Earthquake. A hit, I know, that's what I'm saying. Swagger, okay, okay. If we can get him with a Brick Break right here, this could one shot. Let's see. Oh, it's a brutal miss. And there's that, and that'll probably kill us. Gosh dang it. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. All right, here's what's going to happen. No confusion. Yes. Yes. That should knock it out. We're plus four. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Let's speed through that real quick. Whew. All right. Lapras is probably gonna outspeed. Let's see what happens. No, no way, yes! That's gotta kill at plus four. Metagross. Holds on. That was incredible. The Stevie sweep. Oh. Oh. Dude, go die, Spencer. Oh, yo, that's what I'm saying. We have defeated Palace Maven Spencer. Oh, now this is something else. Yeah, you're not so cocky now. Not so cocky now, old man. Gwahaha. You never fell for my bluster. Sorry for trying that stunt. Excuse me? You were so rude to us earlier. Don't try to tell me you were kidding. Gosh. Um. <laughs> that's right, Cry. Back to the nursing home. Ugh. Okay. That was great. That was really great. I feel like losing at the beginning of the stream really kind of made it that much more special um, to get back to him and finally redeem ourselves. 
Um, uh, you know what? I will. It's not like I'm going to watch any of these back anyway. And they're all recorded, and I'm going to post them to YouTube, so I'll be able to watch them whenever I want. Um, uh, well, folks, no save state. That's right. I didn't even have to use it. Um, but I am going to save my game here because I have anxiety. I'm running a little late, folks, but that was so worth it. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for helping me take down the old man. Um, uh, Dogland Media, uh, Dogland Media, thank you for um, subscribing. Thank you for being here with us tonight. It was great to have you. Um, thanks, Cry, obviously. Um, we only have one more symbol to get. And uh, so our Emerald playthrough is is winding down it's, it really is i can't believe it i've been we've been playing emerald here for you know better part of this whole year i feel like um but anyway i will see you all next time um might not be this weekend we'll see victory is within our grasp you're so right um but you know i'll let you know in the discord and uh anyway thank you so much have a great night Peace out.